Hello, Buzzercars! My name is Otis here and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Last time we managed to finish the power line uh, to here, so we are powering the Atmosube stocks uh, and they can be supplied with oxygen. Unfortunately, um, oxygen production will only work uh, if we have power from this manual setup. So, it can take a while until we are full here. But eventually we will get there. We will get there. We also dug out a bit down here for a future project. Uh, we are lining up the uh, tanks for the natural gas on this side because uh, we detected one geyser up here and I am hoping for more. But we shall see what's what's with you. Oh, you can't get down. can't get over apparently um. uh, let's make this a high priority yeah you're peeing your pants That was this letter fixed. You should be able to. Ah, oh, that's the problem. Got a bit of sand here in the way. So we will cancel this build. We will. Take this out. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Yes, there you go. Good boy. Yep, and uh, then we have to mop up all this pee on this side. But that's why I put here a stop tile, so it does not flow into our base and makes a mess there as well. So let's see what we have here. Uh, care package. We already had one, but apparently we used it all up. Alright, here on this side we are good to go. And we shall have a water sieve. Uh, water sieve uses 120 watts of power. So, if we have a look at this setup, um, we are at uh, 635, so we can easily. Uh, to this line and if we could build this we could hook it up on that side uh, seeing that currently it's still powered by the uh, hamster wheel uh, I will 
not yet uh, go ahead and uh, queue up at the, the grill with recipes. Which eventually will be good. Okay, they are starting to get enough oxygen to uh, fill up the bar down here. Once uh, we have that, uh, we can actually enforce uh, them going out with the suits. How are we looking up here? Um, but wrong button. Let's move over to here and then better up here. So we can get over to, to the other side. Um, and here we shall move over there. And move up further. Hmm, there is another something here. What could it be? Anything good? Water geyser. Water geyser. Water geyser. Question is... What temperature is the output of a water geyser? Water geyser. It does not say. Low volumes. Okay. We have to find out. And this is surrounded by... Um, Polluted water. So, I think we shall dig up to here, and then probably also venture in to uh, to the left side. Then probably. We shall have um, the entryway into here on this side. Make that a bit bigger. You have quite a few projects. Oxygen levels are coming up. So we should see progress down here soon once we have the, the C 
suits ready to use. Plastic, we are at 600 kilograms. And here, um, the intake, that's the polluted water, and the outtake, that's the clean water, and as we are producing more uh, polluted water then is needed uh, for clean water we shall have a bridge here and basically the uh, overflow will go in here and we need a bit of leather to reach that This way, and here we will put it down to that level and connect it here because up here we have our cool water um, container, and around this there will be a lot of piping. So it's best to uh, uh, keep the bed separated uh, because, in the long run, it will become a mess anyway. And we need to fill in a bit of, uh, of clean water for our uh, bathroom, at least initially. I think we shall take it from here. That should work out. But currently they have their hands full of work with all the things that I lined up for them. Um, over here, uh, up here more up here also all the digging so that should keep them uh, going for a bit okay the vent is in And eventually this tank will fill up. But it's probably not too large amount that uh, we will have as overflow here so we could sustainably uh, feed uh, this farm up here. So we need another uh, um, polluted water source for this one can take uh, the polluted water that's on this side because the water on this side we will use for the uh, cooling tank and we can have another look what we get out of the portal uh, lime or rust mm, difficult decision it's lime of course it's the line. We do not have any use for rust. The slime is going down.
Um, can take a layer here. is going on nicely there is a piece that cannot be reached Cube the gas tanks then I'm not entirely sure how to where I shall put the uh, the, the input because they will be all be chained so i guess this one will be the uh, output so that would be this way I think oh, let's think this through maybe we can work our way back from from the lost tank and we can see what makes sense for the top row Also need power up there. So on here we have a potential load of 900 watt, and we need a gas pump and potentially a filter. Gas pump is 120, so we are over the the one thousand watt so probably we will have a heavy watt wire going up there this wire built here yes it is this um, this connection okay uh, we are done with the research as much as we can down here so let's do the same for this down and then we shall go first at the upper row and then the lower row because down here at the, the upper row that's the propulsion of our rocket and the lower row is the cargo and basically we only need solid solid cargo to bring back Oxygenized and suits, so let's enable the building and then they shall only go down there with their suits on. They still can come back 
without but that should help completing the book down there which also means we lower the priority down here Set that at five. Okay, presently they are just collecting stuff down there. That's our progress up here. This uh, this water geyser up here. I am hoping um, that's really cool water and not just water barely below the uh, boiling point. But this being a geyser, I have a suspicion it will be uh, quite hot. So not much difference to uh, what we have over here. And we place tank here. Okay, I think we made quite a bit of, uh, of progress in this episode so let's call it and uh, hope you enjoyed it i had much fun uh, and i will see you in the next one pretty soon good bye